Hey YouTubers, it's your boy Gabe. Just kind of coming in with some stuff and things. I did want to kind of <clears throat> touch more on stuff that has happened to me. Stuff that makes me super uncomfortable. Stuff that still really affects me. Having said that, let's get into it. So just today in my building. I had the awesome pleasure in being involved in a domestic abuse situation. There's this couple that live on my floor that constantly fight each other. The lady constantly says that she's being beaten, screams like she's getting her head cut off, and quite frankly, it like definitely triggered me heavily today because I had to call the cops and report them because this person, these people, decided to attack and threaten me. So luckily I did get away, I got back into my apartment, but this dude that tried to charge up on me and break into my apartment, tried to beat down the door, ended up cracking my door frame. Now his lady that he beats is openly, th openly threatening me and my dog. So there is a whole bunch of mess and stuff and adult things that had to happen today that I really wasn't ready nor prepared to deal with. I had to kind of sit back let things de-escalate and, and kind of reflect on a lot. Reflect on my past domestic abuse situation happened a couple years ago. I don't know if you all remember, but that incident that happened with my ex and I that I really don't like talking about. Unfortunately, I gotta bring to light. I gotta explain. I gotta let you guys know why it triggers me, why today triggered me. And I make it a valid point to not minimize how I feel, how I processed the trauma, the PTSD, what have you. But I can't just like sit quietly and let my ex guilt me into not talking about my feelings and my trauma because no word of a lie after I had posted a video about my dating life and what had happened she messages me like two minutes later telling me not to talk about her telling me clearly you're not over me because you're still talking about me okay you know what shut up I'm not gonna let you bully me into shutting up about what happened to me so no I'm gonna say how I feel I'm gonna say what is on my mind i am gonna say it whether you like it or not whoever is watching this weirdly obsessively stalking me and telling my ex about my channel and what i talk about on my channel you're kind of fucking weird and why are you so obsessed with me like dude back up get your own life and if you keep finding yourself coming back to my channel bro subscribe already you know you're watching me for a reason any hooser my past experience with my ex was that of a domestic abuse situation the cops had to be called because she did put her hands on me and scratched my back and my neck all the way down as I was trying to escape her grasp and she tried to choke me out I do have pictures and whatnot because I had to give those to the cops and this all unfolded in front of my father, no less. So he was the one that called the cops on her while she tried to call the cops at the same time. I'm not too sure why she tried to call the cops to make herself look more... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the entire event from my memory, and I don't... I had been collecting my things, and my dad was helping me move at the time, but I guess it wasn't fast enough for her. I wasn't moving fast enough whatever the fucking situation in her brain was. I tried to move past her to grab the rest of my crap and she proceeds to grab my shirt, claw down my neck and my back and then tries to push me onto the floor and choke me out. When we had another, another altercation, another domestic abuse situation. Yes, there were two. And it was the same type of situation. I was trying to leave, get past her. I was super, super angry. And I, in her words, I body checked her into a shelf, which isn't true. I bumped into her as she was walking past me and she bumped into the shelf. It was like a fucking pinball situation. It was like boom, boom, shelf. So no, I haven't ever laid a hand on her, but she felt 
felt the need to lay hands on me. So here we are, me sitting in my weird ass mess. And then I had to go through it again today. Now I don't post these videos to get sympathy or whatnot. I post these videos to help myself get over stuff. I talk about things that had happened to me in my past years, my past relationships, and if people don't like it, don't fucking watch, okay? Don't watch. So to answer your questions, if you guys have any questions, yes, I'm still heavily triggered by the domestic abuse situation that happened to me two years ago. Having talked about it, writing it out on paper, doing cognitive behavioral therapy, being on antidepressants, yeah, I think I have some room to talk. I think I have a lot of room to fucking talk. So no, I'm not gonna shut up anymore and be bullied into not speaking my piece. Will I reveal names? No, I'm not gonna reveal names or details of where they live or what their situation is because I don't keep in contact with that person anymore. Quite frankly, I don't want to affiliate with this person ever again, ever again. I don't even want to know news about this person. Like this person was in my life for four years and I'm just expected to not talk about my experience those past four years, the past two years. Why? Because we're ashamed of our behavior? Yeah, absolutely. I would be ashamed of that behavior too. I mean, I'm not perfect. I know I wasn't acting perfect. I wasn't behaving well. I was upset, angry, frustrated, scared, and like that was not even the tip of the iceberg of all of the crap this person I let put me through. I let this happen. So that is on me. And I'm even ashamed to admit that I moved in with this person after we broke up. That was my, that was my biggest, biggest mistake. That was just so dumb for me to do. And sitting here now reflecting on that, yes, it was absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid because a lot of fucked up shit happened when I was living with this person. My private information was openly shared with this person and the person that they're currently dating. So my ex and the person that they are dating have both seen private pictures of me that weren't theirs to see. My private pictures were shared between God knows how many people, strangers no less, and my ex. Now how did those two get that picture? Unfortunately, I was, I was seeing this guy that was best or I don't know, is friends with my ex's person that they're dating. So essentially, I had sent a picture, private picture, explicit picture, intimate picture to this person who then thought it was a good idea to share it with my ex's boyfriend. What did that boyfriend do? Share it when it wasn't theirs to fucking share. So not only was my privacy violated, by people I don't even fucking know. But this person actively abused me and I let it happen too. That's the, that's the whole thing of this kicker is I let that shit happen. <sighs> I guess the moral of the story here, kids, don't let people bully you into not speaking your piece. That's the whole kicker. That's the whole caboodle. That's the whole moral of my little rant here. That's what I let happen. I let somebody who isn't in my life anymore bully me into not saying anything. I let this person think that they had power over me when they don't. Absolutely none. And you know what? I let that happen. I did. But the reason I let it happen was because on some weird fucked up level, I still thought that they were right when they were completely wrong <laughs> this entire time. So yes, that is my experience with domestic abuse. It's still triggering me to this day. Now, do I feel safe in my apartment? Yes, it's still a safe place to live. I just, just got freaked out today and I got scared a little bit. So I just wanted to share what happened today with me with y'all and I want y'all to know that if you're in a similar situation where you feel like you can't speak up because in fear of what this person might say to you might do to you have somebody to talk to tell somebody my advice to you is to not let them take your power now with that being said y'all please 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 be kind to one another I can't urge that enough. And take care of yourself, all of you, because I love you and I hear you. We'll get through this together. All right, y'all. 
It's your boy signing out from the Skeleton Crew. And if you find yourself coming back to my channel and watching, subscribe. Give me a like, comment. I will answer back. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Bye.